Hello once again, here we are at Spink looking at coins and today we're going to look at the fourth part of the academic collection of Lord Stewartby. Um, you'll remember, fans of the podcast I'm sure will remember, that we've already sold this year parts one, two and three. The Anglo-Saxon and Norman in March, Henry II to Edward II in June, the English coins in September, and here we are, Edward III to Richard III in November. So here we start on the high medieval coinage, the groat, the penny, and its divisions. Edward III, perhaps the most important reorganization of the coinage until the Tudor times, up until the fall of the House of York at the Battle of Bosworth with the defeat of Richard III by Henry VII. It's a momentous period of English history, but to many people it is just the Middle Ages. But we have the Hundred Years' War, we have the great economic uh, upheavals that led to the Peasants' Revolt, we have of course the Wars of the Roses, the White Rose against the Red Rose, and all that is going on uh, in the background, if you're a numismatist, because what is far more interesting is what's going on with the silver coinage. We had the gold coinage in September, as I just mentioned, and so that obviously um, had a wonderful representation of the nobles and the subdivisions and the angels. But in this sale, we concentrate on the silver, and it's the groats and the pennies, half pennies and farthings. I've picked out just a few uh, which are either attractive or interesting or even both, sometimes both. Um, like with the other parts of the collection, there are a lot of academically very interesting coins, but they're not so attractive to look at. This is one of the exceptions, a lovely groat of Henry VI. This was... Um, struck at Calais. Calais was uh, a new mint under Edward III. He captured it from the French in the 13, uh, 13, 15, 1348. Uh, he proposed that we should mint coins at Calais, and they started a year or two later. Uh, this is a lovely example. Um, it's quite scarce, um, with no annulets in reverse, and no fleur in the angle, but the nice thing about it is the colour. Uh, this is what silver can look like if it's left alone. And it acquires a lovely, in this case, rosy gold toning. So, a scarcish uh, coin, uh, quite interesting because it's from Calais, um, and in lovely condition. We put on the cover this time a coin which is not super rare, but again, numismatically, very interesting indeed. Um, the uh, combined mint mark, um, the sun and the crown. This is a groat of Edward IV. And if we can see in the enlargement, uh, clearly you can see up at the top the combined mint mark. A very rare thing, not as lovely as the Henry VI, certainly, but to a numismatist, uh, much more interesting. This is a groat of London, as opposed to Calais, and reasonably inexpensive. I think our estimate is about in the 200 pound range. Pennies in abundance, and also the smaller half pennies and farthings. The very last lot of the auction in fact, here it is, tiny little coin. And this is a farthing of Richard III, a very scarce coin with a mint mark, the sun and the rose, 
and you can see a little bit of the legend. You can see RIC, which is all you need, and a rather flat, but nevertheless, very recognizable head with the crown. I wouldn't say a recognizable portrait, but it's obviously the king's head. So here we have a farthing of Richard III. This will cost you perhaps 2,000 pounds rather than 200. So smaller, but much rarer and more expensive. It's a wonderful range of coins. There are, is it 400 or 500 lots in the auction altogether? Um, and uh, let's have a look. Yeah, 400 lots, huge quantity. So some of the lots have more than one coin in the lot. Um, but nevertheless, a great range of uh, condition, rarity, and value, from the relatively inexpensive 50 pound coin to the Richard III farthing for a couple of thousand. The sale is on the 29th of November. They're on view now. They're on the website. You're very welcome to come in and have a look. Um, they'll be available for public viewing um, from next week onwards. And of course, you can bid online, um, and we encourage you to bid online. So 29th of November, starting at 10 o'clock, we hope to see you there. Thank you very much.